Actors, let's talk about saving some time and saving some money by printing our headshots at home. Come on. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. So uh, come on figuratively. Yeah. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Kurt from smallmarketactor.com and today we're gonna to be talking about how to print our own headshots at home. It is super easy and you definitely don't have to be like a tech genius or anything like that to do it and it saves money, which I think most of us can get on board with. So let's talk about first the things that we need. One, a photo printer. Two, photo paper. Three, a digital version of your headshot on your computer. And four, a cute puppy optional though. All right, that's it. So let's go through each item one by one and talk about the details of what we need specifically. Okay, so before you start thinking about going out and buying a new printer, first ask yourself this. Do I currently own a printer? If you do, check to see if it can print photos. Most of us might actually have a photo printer, but never even knew it because we never used that function. A lot of us only use uh, the printer to print documents because all of our photos are on Facebook and Instagram. So check to see first because if you bought a printer within the last five years or so, there's a good chance again it can print photos. So check. If your current printer can't print photos or if you currently don't have a printer, then you will have to look into buying one. Now the good news is you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on a photo printer. The printer that I use is a Canon and it prints awesome quality headshots and it only cost me about 60 bucks. Now that model is no longer in production, but I'm sure you can find something very similar made by Canon or HP or Epson or something like that uh, for well under $100. Now, if you go to the blog post that I wrote accompanying this video, I'll have links on there to some inexpensive photo printer options. The number one thing to remember when buying photo paper for headshots is that the paper needs to be 8 by 10. That's 8 inches wide by 10 inches tall. Now, this is a different size than normal printer paper, which is 8.5 by 11. This is super important because 8 by 10 is the industry standard size for a headshot. You don't want to be the actor that goes into an audition with an 8.5 by 11 headshot because that is going to make you stand out like a sore thumb in a really bad way. So make sure to buy 8 by 10 photo paper. As for the finish of the paper, you have the choice between matte photo paper and glossy photo paper. Now matte photo paper is going to give you a flatter look, glossy photo paper is going to give you a shinier look. Now this is really your preference. I've never heard a casting director or a talent agent say that they strongly prefer one finish over the other. So just pick which, whichever one you like best. I personally prefer matte photo paper because I can print on both sides of it. I can print my headshot on one side and then flip it over and print my resume directly on the back. Uh, glossy photo paper a lot of times only has one printable side. I like printing on both sides because it saves the hassle of trimming the resume and then stapling it or taping it on the back. Plus I think it looks more professional having it printed on both sides. Again, if you go to the blog post after watching this, I'll provide some links to some photo paper options as well. Okay, now that we have a photo printer and photo paper, we are just about ready to print our first headshot. But before we do that, we first have to make sure that the image file on the computer is the proper dimensions. Remember when we said earlier that the photo paper needs to be eight by 10? Well, the image on the computer needs to be that same aspect ratio or else when we print, we're gonna be cutting off half our heads. We definitely don't wanna do that. So how do we check that? Well, one way to do it is to use a little bit of math and crop the photo based on some calculations. But I'm sure most of you don't wanna relive algebra class, so I'm gonna show you an easier way, a much easier way that helps you crop your headshots to the exact right dimensions every single time. It's a website called cropola.com. Here's how it works. So the first thing we do is go to our headshot and drag that image onto cropola.com, let it load. And once it finishes loading, it gives you this little crop window. What we do now is click over to manual. And then down here, I don't know if you can read it, but it says aspect ratio. Under aspect ratio, we're gonna change this to eight by 10. So we'll delete the one type an eight and then 10. So now this window is an eight by 10 aspect ratio and we can drag it to as big as we want. So if we drag it all the way, 
now we have an 8 by 10 crop. Uh, we can actually even crop it, if you want to, to a different part of the photo. So this makes it very easy to crop any image that you have into a perfect headshot size. So we're actually going to drag it all the way out. And then all we do is download this crop. We'll save it to the same folder. And now it's done. Now we'll go back to the folder. And we have this cropped image. And this is the one that we are going to print. All right, we are so close, I can smell it. Now the last thing we need to do is to load the printer with the 8x10 photo paper. Now, depending on the printer, you may need to remove the regular printer paper first due to the size difference. Just remember to put it back afterwards. And now we are finally ready to print the headshot. In the print dialog of the computer, select 8x10 as the paper size and matte or glossy photo paper as the paper type. And now click print. That's it. Pretty easy, right? If you found this video helpful, please spread the love and share it with all of your acting friends so that they can learn from it as well. Until next time, break legs, and I hope to see you on set. Thank you.